Okay, this week in grammar, we're looking at joining words, or the fancy word for that is conjunctions. We have done work on this before in the autumn term. We've looked at and and but. We, th we said that and was when two equal sentences um, joined together um, to make a longer sentence. So, for example, I went to the park, I went on the swings. You can make better by putting, I went to the park and I went on the swings. And that raises the standard of your writing. But is when there's a problem. Do you remember us using but? Um, I played outside, but I slipped on the ice. And that introduces a problem. So instead of saying, I played outside, I slipped on the ice, you've got but, I played on the ice, I played outside, but I slipped on the ice. Um, this also introduces or, which is when you've got a list, and so, which is used to explain. And we have started looking at these before. So on these, um, I'd want you to call out the correct answer um, to, there's a missing word, missing conjunction, a missing joining word in the sentence. You've got a choice of and, but, or, or so. So the first one, I really don't want to do my homework tonight. Hmm, I have to. Which one did you go for? Now this introduced a problem, so it's going to be but. I really don't want to do my homework tonight, but I have to was your best fit. Okay, next one. I like to paint. Mm -hmm. Draw in art class. So is it I like to paint and draw in art class? I like to paint or draw in art class. So those two are the same answer linked together. Is it I like to paint but draw in art class? I like to paint so draw in art class. Make a decision now, maybe point to the correct one on the screen. It's got to be this one, hasn't it? And or or. I like to paint and draw in art class. I like to paint or draw in art class. The others didn't make sense. Hope you got that one right. Let's keep going. Next one. I am going to music lessons. Mm, I can learn the piano. So listen carefully. Is it I am going to music lessons and I can learn the piano? I am going to music lessons, but I can learn the piano. I am going to music lessons or I can learn the piano. Oh, that one doesn't make sense, or does it? I am going to music lessons so I can learn the piano. Be careful on this one, because if you went for and, there was a better choice than and, wasn't there? I am going to music lessons and I can learn the piano. The best choice was actually so, because so explains. I am going to music lessons so I can learn the piano. So, so was the best choice there. Always make sure you pick the best conjunction. I like to eat strawberries, blank apples. This one's an easy one. Did you get it? I like to eat strawberries and apples. Or it could be, I like to eat strawberries or apples. Or it's normally when you're given a choice. So either of those two fit. And this is going to be your last one today. It says, do you want to go now? Hmm, should we go later? So is it, do you want to go now? And should we go later? Do you want to go now? But should we go later? Well, that one doesn't make sense, does it? Neither did and. Do you want to go now? Or should we go later? Do you want to go now? So should we go later? The only one that makes sense is the one is or. Because you get given choices, don't you? Do you want to go now? Or should we go later? So I said that was the last one. I hope you managed to get those um, joining words to fit. And um, you today, writing down for me, if I can just move this sheet across. So you're going to look at this picture here that says our winter scene. It says use and, but, or, or to join clauses. Remember clauses are just sentences. And this week I picked this snowy scene because I know that a lot of you had been sledging or had been to see some snow and we'd also done the Lapland topic so you're good on this and you can look at the picture and you can make up good answers so it says here it says look at the picture above of a winter scene 
Please complete the sentences below to make a compound sentence. A compound sentence means it's got two sentences in, and you link with either or, and, or, but. So in your books, you're on a piece of paper, you're going to put number one, and you're going to copy out, it was cold, and, and you're going to look at the picture, and you're going to add another part of the sentence here, and then put your full stop. Then you'll start a new line and put number two, and this must be Tom. Tom threw a snowball, snowball at Amy, but, and you're going to come up with an answer there. But means a problem, so there must be a problem. And then same for number three. Noah wondered if he should join the snowball fight or, wonder which one's Noah? This might be Noah here. He wanted to do something else, so you're going to add a sensible suggestion here. Number four, the ice was slippy and, notice there it's and, it's not a problem. So you need to try and think of an equal balance sentence. And your last one today, Tom felt very cold, but this might, don't know which one's Tom here. It could be this one, could be this one. Oh, we said Tom. We said that one was Tom, wasn't we? Tom felt very cold, but, so something must be okay there. And finally, number six, the snowman had a hat on his head and is our snowman. So you could come up with sensible answers there. Um, I might complete some of these and show you or show you what some of the children in school have put. So these, I want you to write these out in your books with sensible answers.